You know, a few years ago, Cherry Bomb unleashed a truck on the hot rodding world, and we had the privilege of having a hand in putting that thing together. The rusty, crusty D100 with the modern Hemi and Zoomies absolutely embodied what Cherry Bomb was all about. They gave new meaning to their slogan, Disturbing the Peace. But the question is, how do you follow something like that up? Well, for Cherry Bomb, the answer was pretty simple. Build a hot rod from the year that Cherry Bomb started, 1968. We put the contest on the website to either build a 68 Camaro, a 68 Mustang, or a 68 Charger. Camaro won by tenfold. Now, even though Cherry Bomb exploded on the scene in the late 60s, its real heyday was through the 70s. I wanted something to kind of pay homage to that time frame. And what were people doing to a 68 Camaro in the 70s? Well, they were putting slot mags on it, side pipes, and probably a blower in most cases. Uh, so I wanted to kind of pay homage to that 70s vibe, you know. But at the same time, have a modern running gear, modern look to it. Phil Brewer at year one, I told him what I wanted. He read my mind and drew the car out exactly how I saw it in my mind. Starting with a clean, rust-free car, the stock suspension was tossed, and a state-of-the-art subframe with Corvette suspension, rack and pinion steering, and massive disc brakes make this thing handle like a modern street machine. A heavy-duty Moser 12-bolt rear end sits in back, and a four-link and coilover suspension hold it in place. Of course, everybody knows that a first-generation Camaro was one of the best-looking coupes ever built. So, body modifications were kept to a minimum. And once everything was smoothed down, it was shot in a two-tone gloss red and flat black paint scheme for a very unique old school vibe. Now, so far the car is very cool, but it's not that much different than a thousand other Camaros out there. But that is about to change. Because for an engine, they stuffed in a Mass Motorsports LSX 427 instead of a traditional big block Chevy. Then on top of that engine, the blower shop put together a massive 871 supercharger and fuel injection system to not only give that through the hood 70s look, but also over 800 streetable horsepower on pump gas. To channel all that power to the rear tires, American Powertrain supplied a Tremec Magnum six speed and heavy duty clutch, so this thing is a blast to drive. The 70s look continues inside the car with houndstooth style upholstery on classic looking bucket seats that do a great job hiding the roll bars inside the car. The vintage foam steering wheel, the under dashed cluster of gauges, and the barefoot gas pedal make you want to put on some bell bottoms and crank up some classic southern rock. <laughs> But instead of doing all that, all you really have to do is crank the key and tap your foot. And 800 horsepower will come roaring out through the custom Cherry Palm exhaust and side pipe. This is rock and roll, man. And when you put all this stuff together, you end up with a car that has the look and the feel of a classic, in-your-face, 70s muscle car with just enough modern touches to make it relevant today. And that is how you disturb the peace. <laughs>